Hey folks, hello and welcome to the Body Commerce video documentation and step-by-step -step guide. And in this video, I will be showing you how to create the default WooCommerce pages, a header and a footer using Divi Body Commerce. You'll find other great Body Commerce resources on our documentation site at help.diviengine.com, which will also be linked in the description of this video. If you get stuck with more complex challenges, definitely feel free to reach out to our amazing support team and they'll do the best they can to find a solution for you. Now, before we get started, let's make sure that we're updated to the latest versions of Body Commerce, the Divi theme and WordPress. With that all sorted, let's jump right into it. At this point, you should have a blank website that has been customized to Body Commerce. There should be no pages, no posts, no projects, nothing. Just Divi, a child theme, along with two plugins, Body Commerce and WooCommerce. Your next step will be to create the default WooCommerce pages, then set your permalinks and assign a home page. If the default WooCommerce pages were not created during the install of the plugin, we need to go to WooCommerce, Status, Tools, and then scroll down a little bit, and then we click the Default Pages button. As a side note, you must never enable the Divi Boulder on any of these WooCommerce pages. That means not on the shop page, not on the cart page, the checkout page, or the My Account page. Now with the WooCommerce default pages in there, we will set the permalink structure to the correct style. We're gonna go on the left-hand column here to Settings and Permalinks. Now here we can design our different permalink structures. You'll see a bunch of options here. There'll be a link in the description that talks a little bit about what each of these options mean. But for this purpose, we suggest assigning the post name structure that you see right here. To make sure that they're updated throughout your site, we wanna make sure that we save these permalinks two times, which flushes the permalink cache on your Divi WooCommerce site. With that saved and ready, the last thing we need to do is assign the home page. So to do so, we're gonna go to settings and then reading here on the left-hand side. And then all you do here is you select static page and we'll set that to our shop page just to make this simple for the purposes of this video. All right, so onto building the footer for our Divi Body Commerce site. Divi's made this very easy with the theme builder. So all we need to do is go to Divi, Theme Builder, and then on this page, you're gonna click on Add Global Footer, and then there, you're gonna click Build Global Footer, and Divi will spin up and load the builder into the screen, and you'll just select Build from Scratch. Now, this is gonna act like pretty much any other Divi page. You can add different modules to it. You can add text, colors, images, whatever you want, and it'll display on all the footers all across your Divi Body Commerce store. Now, in a later video, we're gonna discuss adding things like maybe products or sliders to the bottom footer of the page, but we're gonna keep you in suspense and cover that in a future video. So the last step here in our video is gonna to be to build out the header for our site. Now there's two ways we can do this. We can use the Divi theme builder as we just did building out the footer for the site, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna be using the default WordPress Divi menu. Now the first thing we need to do, we're gonna go on the left-hand side here to appearances and then menus. We'll build out a quick menu here and drag over the various default WooCommerce pages that we generated in the beginning of this video. We'll just drag them over and save the menu when we're done. Now next, we need to add the logo. So adding the logo is super easy. We just go to Divi here, theme options, and then here, when the page loads, you'll see the logo area. We just go ahead and select the logo. Now you'll see that mine's uploaded here on the site already. I'll just select it. But if you want to, you can go ahead and upload your own logo and we can go ahead. And to wrap things up with our header here, we're gonna go ahead and use the customizer to finish it out. We just go here to appearances and then click on customize. And then we'll go to header and navigation here and then primary menu bar. Now here you'll see all these different settings that you can set. We're just gonna be concerned with setting the background color for the header to white. We're gonna change the text color to dark gray. And then for the active link color to go with our logo here, we're gonna set it to this orange color. Now you can go ahead and play with all the other settings here, change the fonts and whatnot for the site, but we're gonna keep it at this 
and maybe in a different video we can cover how to further customize these various elements. And that's it folks, I really hope this video helped you better understand the different steps involved with creating the default WooCommerce pages, a header and a footer for our Divi Bodycommerce site. And again, if this video did not cover what you were looking for, definitely check out our documentation at help.divyengine.com for more text and videos which will help you master body commerce. As always, definitely contact our incredible support team with more complex challenges that might come up and they will do their best to help you figure it out. With that, this is Roby from the Divi Engine team. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.